It's a banana fritters at the side of the road. So instead of Monkey Beach, we saw Monkey Bin. We woke up with about a million ants on us, eating us alive. Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Ben. Malaysia! Hello, welcome back. We're on Tour Bridges and this is our Malaysia series. Today we're catching the bus to the northeast of Penang Island. Hopefully we get this correct, but supposedly this is the bus stop and this is the bus we need to get to get there. But we'll see if we've done it right. It is six in the evening, it should only take about an hour, and then we'll show you where we're staying. We're staying in look at eco points in the nature with nothing there. Come along with us. stock up on too much food but I feel better about it but we now got a 20 minute walk from the bus station so a little bit of a walk but we should be all right I have no idea what that noise is well we're literally about 10 minutes away from our accommodation it's a bit of a boring long walk it's in the dark on a main road with loads of trees around us so not very exciting but we can see lightning in the distance we need to make it there before the thunder and lightning and rain comes and then this will be even more miserable where do we need to go um we're walking. We've got the bus. Yes. Okay. So we walk through the through the first gate. Yeah. Through the car park, and there's another gate. Yeah. And then up the slope and on the left-hand side. Okay. That's a... see, see another gate. Yeah. Okay. Through that gate, up the slope. Well, that's where he is. And he said there's a security guard there, and he'll help you. Oh, okay. Okay, we're here. We were a bit worried because it was a bit dark and dead, so we phoned the host or whatever you call him, and he just said, "Keep going through the gate, and there'll be a security guard." So. Let's hope we're in the right place. Well, you can't see anything, but this is how dark it is. It's been shining the way with his torch, you can barely see it. We don't know where we're going. So he said, past the first gate, past the second gate, and then on your left is like this should be a security. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, very late. Yeah. <laughs> we are the, we are inside the park. Yeah. Yeah, but the wheel is just beside here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, we checked into our eco pod, but where it's pitch black, we can't really show you anything. So you have to wait until the morning. Good night. Morning, we are finally out and about and are ready to explore this area. The accommodation we're staying in at Ecopod is no Wi Fi, no internet, nothing there. So that is like Ben's hell. Where our Ecopod is, there's literally like a lake where everyone comes for like a little holiday, I think. It's like full of families and locals all swimming in the lake. So we're going to go to the national park, which is about a 40 minute walk from here and see what it's like but unfortunately yeah. it hasn't stopped raining <laughs> no, the weather's not great um, we've got some waterproofs with us so hopefully we don't need them but we are prepared so we're staying 21 kilometers from georgetown in the northwestern part of penang island in a place called Turlak Bahang. We're about halfway to the national park. Our host warned us about this. The road is closed off, so you can't drive straight to it. You've got to go like a diverted route. But for us, we've got to walk through there. Because this is what's going on at the moment, currently blocking the whole bit off. It's quite nice because it's under shelter and it's starting to rain again. Hopefully this rain gets lost, otherwise I don't know what we're going to do with our day. So where we are staying, like the eco pods where we are, there is actually quite a lot still around us. There is the skate park with like the wild's longest slide, um, a butterfly farm. So there is loads to do there, but we've decided to walk 40 minutes in the rain to a national park to see monkeys on the island that probably won't be there, 
and will probably take us hours and we'll probably be miserable at the end of it and crying but it's worth a try isn't it standard it's what we do it's never going to be easy with us it's it's nice though look like we were saying yesterday it was really hot so with the clouds and the rain it's quite nice but then you don't want it to rain rain because then it's not nice so before we've even got into the park we've seen two monkeys there's obviously loads of food in the bin so they're getting it clever monkeys clothes yeah. What's clothes? Before you go, you must buy a ticket. Ticket? Yeah, now they have ticket already. So we got to the entrance and the guy said, no, no, you can't come in, you've got to pay. All right. I said, how much? Well, they've just introduced, it used to be free, but they've upped it. It's now six for locals. And for non-residents of Malaysia, it's gone up to 50. 50. Yeah, so we looked at the Google reviews and um, lots of people said, it's not worth it. They put the money up and it's not worth going in there for that price. Especially considering it was free. Yeah, so for both of us... 100 ringing. Yeah, it's $22. It's nearly, not far off, a day's money for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we can't... Justify spending that. No, we can't. Um, and also, we did see monkeys when we were walking out, so we've got that, at least. We so. saw monkeys. So instead of Monkey Beach, we saw Monkey Bin. <laughs> <laughs> But now we've just got to walk back and it's still miserable and the rain's out, so. We'll find somewhere to get a drink because there's lots of little local places. So. Yeah, and literally, if you walk about five minutes from where we're staying, you can get Wi Fi. Well, you can get data on your phone. Yeah, so we're going to stay a bit more down here so we can actually work, but we haven't brought one laptop, so we have to go back and get that. But maybe we'll go and try some food, get coffee, mm. just try a bit of the local cuisine out here. Yeah. So walking past, we noticed some woman was cooking some banana fritters at the side of the road. So we had to go in and we had to try them. So we got a plate of banana fritters. Try them. Mm. There's not much flavour on the batter, but the, uh, the actual banana is really sweet. So they're really beautiful, warm and crunchy, and they only cost us, for eight, two ringgit. We also got a fresh mango smoothie, and that was five ringgit. As we always say, eat local. This is like, our oh, breakfast slash lunch, it will hold us off until dinner time. I also got lucky with the seat. We've got a little friend here. This might have been another reason why we picked it, because we saw cat seeping on the chair and we were like, let's go see him. 12. Yes. Ah! <laughs> Keep the change, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you. So this is where we're staying. And that's literally where the toilets are. So we've come back and we're all a bit hot and sweaty and a bit stinky. So we decided to have a midday shower, get ourselves cleaned up and sorted. So there's the shower. Quite all right, actually. It's very modern here now. You've got sinks, um, soap, shower cream, everything, and the toilet here with toilet roll. So it's actually pretty good. I've had worse than this at campsites when I've gone camping with my dad. Lou? Mm -hmm. How was your shower? Yeah, it was alright. Was it hot? No. It was was it hot? No, it was yours. Yeah. No. Did you put the heat on? I don't know. I just, nothing was lighting up. I just... Oh, well, I had a yeah, really good shower. Mine shower. was well hot. You'll never guess what time it is. Best time of the day. Dinner time! <laughs> so we've got to walk about 20 minutes to the closest restaurant, cafe, whatever you want to call it out here. And we're going to do it now. And we're hoping we miss the rain because it's looking a little bit overcast, a little bit sad out here. Yeah. But I'm sure we can do it. We sp I was going to say, we spotted this place as we were walking to the National Park earlier. Mm. Looks good, looks local, looks cheap. We like it all. Looks like our type of place. The place we wanted to go closes midday, so it's not open. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry about the change. No, okay. Thank you. Sorry. I think we made a good choice there. 17 RM for this. This is massive and it's really, really heavy. I'm so excited to eat it, but we're going to have to head back to our place. It's about a 30 minute walk now, so we've walked quite far and it's starting to rain, so maybe we'll jog. Okay, we just found a seating area just outside of where we're staying. We've got our parcels of food. Just gonna sit here. Where's the cutlery? Oh, it's 
some plastic cutlery. So if we go to a cafe, we tend to keep these because they're normally in rope wrappers. Uh, open it up. That's Bridges' top tip. Make sure you've got a spoon or something in your travel kit. Look at this. So puts the plastic over the plate and then plates it all up on the plate with the plastic and then folds and wraps it up. That's quite cool. It's quite a generous portion. Whoa. It's not going to be the, the sexiest meal ever going. So I've got my Coke Zero to go with it and Ben has... I've got the plus 100 of course. Zero sugar? Zero. Yeah, zero is sugar. Sweet enough. I can't eat and not have a drink. It's weird if you don't. Okay, so as you know, these meals were dirt cheap. Both of these together come to 17 RM. It's like a buffet style, would you say? They have all the dishes out in front of you and calculates it and you pay yeah. what you what you He spoke have. English, so fine, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very nice guy. Okay, I'll go in and try the veg and the rice with all the mixed sauces. There's about three different sauces you put on it. That is so nice. It's not too spicy, but it tastes like, um, kind of like a masala curry but it hasn't got like a proper cook in it, which is really what I like. It's like a subtle kind of Indian flavor. Delicious. Ben's going to check out what the chicken's like. Yeah, I'll try chicken. What do you get, a drumstick? Yeah, oh, so we've both I, got drumsticks. So I've got a drumstick. I don't actually think there's any sort of coating or spice on this. It's just got a bit of a sauce on. Probably deep fried, they mainly deep fried the meat. I yeah, think. I think what I'm looking for now is the quality of the cook. Mm. It tastes very good and it's very juicy and very nice. So it's not much more to show you. Have oh, we got an egg? This is what our egg looks like. Mm. <laughs> but we're just going to sit here, enjoy the beautiful scenery and eat our dinner and hopefully the flies leave us alone. Whew, that was full in. <laughs> that, was, that was so nice though. Mm, it was good. But we're going to stay here for a bit because in our room we've got no internet and Wi-Fi. And what do you do at like six in the evening? Yeah, I've sort of like not really got it though. So we're just going to sit here for a bit, watch the sunset maybe, I don't know where the sun is, so probably not watch the sunset, and chill here. But otherwise, we are going back to Penang tomorrow, and hopefully get in the bus. We're just going to walk down to the bus stop and see when it comes. You wing know, it. us, standard us. Wing it in true Drizzle style. But we're going to say goodnight, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Time to leave our Eho pod. To be honest, I'm kind of glad to leave. We woke up with about a million ants on us, eating us alive. To be honest, it's not the cleanest place, and like where it's out in the middle of the jungle, you think it'd be, oh, it's nice, peaceful. It's not that quiet, and it's quite busy. It weren't all that for $22 a night. There's no Wi Fi, there's no signal, but then if you walk about two minutes down the road, there is, so it's a bit weird. And this noise is well annoying. Can you hear it? Yeah, I think it's to keep like, the pests away, but it doesn't work because we get eaten alive by water. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. The nearest bus stop is about a 20 minute walk. It's really like hot and muggy today, but windy. But we've got like half an hour until the next bus comes, so we're just gonna stay at the bus stop and watch the world go by. The buses are really easy to use. There's a 101 or 102. We're taking the 102, but here it has the route. We're going all the way to the end and the route back. And then it's got the fare here. So make sure you look at here, it's adults, and then the distance is up there. So make sure you have the fare ready because you put it in a pot, you won't get any change. So make sure you have little change on your top tip from Bridges. Our bus is here, they're the 102, but we've realised that they beep when they're ready. So we don't want to go over there and just stand outside look plums. So we'll wait here and wait for us to beep. Any minute now. There's our bus. Every single one that's come along has been 101. Hello. Sibong. Sibong. Two. Thank you. So we're on the bus, it was 4 RM each. Do you think one of these days we would actually be ready to get off the bus? Nope. We were shouting our bus stop and we were still sat there like da da da. But then we realised this is our bus stop and ran off. If we could cross the road, it would take the best time to send us to the pool out there. This is where I fall over and start walking. Now where? Can anyone else find this traveller and have this bag on the front? It's a hazard to me because I cannot see what's under my feet and oh, oh, the, oh, and I trip every time and it's just dangerous but it's the most convenient way to hold it. But I'm a tripper as 
Yeah, but I'm a trooper as it is, so this is like literally the worst thing for me. So I have to hold on to Ben like when I've got bags on like this. Right, just had to go out there and pour a pin off the go out there. Um, we're doing postcards. Doing some postcards. Anyway, right, we're gonna finish the video here. We're just sat in a coffee shop and just gonna wait until we can get into our accommodation. We're gonna leave it as a new video because our accommodation's pretty unique and it's probably worth its own video in itself. So, we'll see you next time. Make sure you watch the next video, subscribe. That is Ben phoning. That is Ben, show it. <laughs> Oh, that drinks like that. Oh. I'm really short. Right, who's talking? Me? Right, so we found... I just need to zhuzh my mouth a bit. Right, so we found like a seating area and we've decided to grab a... Uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I don't know whether I... Ben, we're filming. You do know that, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs>